All right, guys, this is going to be my Cassidy versus Disaster uh, battle review. Um, just my opinion on what I think of the battle. Um, I'm sure you guys have all seen it. If you haven't, go check it out. Um, here are three reasons why I think that this battle is an instant classic. Um, reason number one, I gotta say that the venue, the the fact that they changed the venue from um, going in a big uh, auditorium to a, a garage, I think that was a plus. And the reason why I think that it was a better option for these guys, I know it wasn't necessarily uh, intentional, but it happened. Um, the reason why it was a plus, it's because um, you have two rappers, right? And they're on stage, and I feel like whenever that happens, you have the cameras uh, that are kind of far away from each other, so you're not using the audio from the uh, video cameras, you're using the audio from the microphones that they have on their t-shirts. A lot of times, um, there's always audio problems, whether the chain is hitting the, the microphone and it's just sounding shitty, or, you know, they just... For whatever reason, they don't seem to ever hire professional uh, engineers or sound techs, whatever people they are that uh, make the, the sound uh, sound good. Um, I mean, it, even if you can uh, look back to um, Total Slaughter, uh, they had audio problems where Joe Budden was actually using a microphone instead of the microphone that was supposed to be on his T-shirt. Um, and they're the professionals, you know. So, I mean, it doesn't matter what league it is, there's always problems with audio. When you take it to the garage and you put the camera right in front of these um, rappers, you actually are using the microphone that is built into the camera. And that way you're getting all this quality sound and you're kind of limiting the sound from the crowd. And there was a crowd, but it was a small crowd. Um, from what I saw, I only saw maybe about 50 people. Um, so I think that was a, a plus. It just contributed to the battle itself. Um, as far as the artists or the battlers, whatever you want to call them, um, um, rapping in a small venue compared to the stage, I never liked the stage. I think the stage should be left for performers, as far as you know, your 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 artists and and rapping their songs for battle rappers that are trying to tear each other a new one. I don't like the stage. Um, maybe because I've never been to an event. Um, and all the, the battles that I ever see are online, so I think it always looks better when, when it's just like a smaller crowd. And I know why they have to have these events, guys, because they got they have to make money somehow, right? And that's how they generate uh, revenue for their, their league and themselves and, and how to pay these artists and things like that. I understand that. Um, however, I just, I've just i never been a fan of the stage, and I just like this battle, the, the feel to it, the old-school grind time feel to it. Or even you can even go back to uh, the Fight Club days or go back to um the smack dvd days you know where you just have a crowd surrounding this mcs and you just have a camera just post it up um i think it also lets them be a little bit more flexible with uh their styles of rapping um if you compare the footage uh from cassidy on saturday when he was on stage and you compare the footage to cassidy on uh in the garage it almost looks like cassidy's a lot more comfortable he's spitting his his verses uh um, um, a lot smoother and he just sounds overall a lot better and same with disaster too you know you're not worried about the crowd reaction as much you don't have to pause and let the crowd react and then you keep going um i'm just never really been a fan of that i kind of like to to have the mc just rap uh and have a sick flow and then if he says a hotline just react to it somewhat but not you know overtake the building with your noise um so that's reason number one reason number two is that these Guys, both of them have incredible bars. I don't care if you are a fan of Disaster or you hate Disaster. In my opinion, I think Disaster is top five easily. Um, he's not the best. I don't think he's the best. You know, there's better rappers out there. Um, and even rappers that I'm not necessarily a fan of, but I think they might be better rappers than Disaster for uh, multiple reasons. But he is still, in my opinion, top five. And Cassidy... Cassidy is Cassidy. I mean, he has his, his own legacy behind him. Um, he's been out for 12 years, but you know what? Obviously, uh, it didn't matter. That was not an issue whatsoever. Um, both of these guys had lyrics. Uh, disaster did his his regular thing where he comes with these uh, multi-structured multis, and he has all these syllables bunched into one sort of gimmicky thing. It was really cool to see it again. Um and to see it uh, go up against a heavy hitter like Cassidy because, you know, when you have two different styles that are so far away from each other, it's, it is it is enjoyable, but you kind of have 
uh, you can't really judge it as well, in my opinion, you know, because you just can't compare the two. But Cassidy's style is not necessarily similar to um, Dis- uh, Disaster or vice versa. But it's still in a, you know, multiple punchlines, multis, things like that. Uh, Cassidy does that very well so, um, also. Uh, so bars, both of these guys, top notch. Love them both. Made a great battle overall. Yes. Um, and the last reason why this battle is a fucking classic is because just the names alone. Disaster versus Cassidy. Just that name alone should have brought in so many people from so many different uh, backgrounds of hip hop. Whether you like just hip hop as as a music or you like hip hop as a form of battling, it doesn't matter. You can see it all in this battle. Um, it just has a very old school feel to it. You know, like I said, it's in the garage. You just got a bunch of dudes surrounding these guys. Um, you know, getting. And a little bit about the lyrics. Cassidy, I don't think he had the best lyrics in the world. But they, they were definitely a lot of quotables. Probably more quotables than Disaster. Um, and I am not... I did not see this coming whatsoever. When I heard that Cassidy was going to get $250,000 to battle. I was one of the people that was like, ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. Disaster is going to tear him up, man. That did not happen whatsoever, and I'm glad that didn't happen because I would have hate to see another Joe Budden versus Hall of the Dawn, another Disaster versus Cannabis. This was a true battle, and I was glad to to see it. And I I've seen it already like four or five times, and I'm probably gonna watch it another two or three times before I go to bed tonight because it's that good, guys. Um, so if you haven't seen it, go ahead and, and watch it. Uh, who won? Man, that's for you guys to decide. Um, I think it's way too close to call. Um, I've seen a lot of comments from people saying that, you know, Cassidy won because he's the underdog and he came out with some lyrics and, and he had a great style and he performed better. And then I hear other people that Disaster had the better lyrics um, and there's no way you can compare the two, blah, blah, blah. I think both dudes were fucking great. Both guys killed it. Um, if I had to pick a winner, man, I would probably pick Cassidy. Even though I love Disaster as a as a MC, battle MC, um, I gotta go with Cassidy on this one. Um, nearly just because of the performance itself, not so much anything else. Um, when he had this the first round, I believe it was where he had he did the impression of Disaster, that was fucking incredible. I mean, he just rapped like Disaster, rapped better than Disaster, rapped the way that Disaster should have rapped, in my opinion, um, and then. Disaster, he kind of fucked up the battle for himself for kind of getting distracted. And and I feel like Disaster is almost known for getting distracted. I mean, if we can go back to uh, Disaster versus, uh, what was his name, Arcane for the title match. I mean, Disaster should have ate Arcane up. But Disaster gets emotional. And he beats himself. Um, so I think disaster when he when he, a well prepared disaster is unstoppable. I don't think anybody can beat disaster ever. Uh, when when disaster is just like like he's just focused on the battle and he nothing's gonna distract him from his goal. I think he's a savage, but. He just gets distracted way too easy, and then he goes off of tangents, and he starts freestyling in the middle of his verses, which uh, is impressive, but you know, it kind of takes away from the scheme that he's using originally. Um, so based on that, I think I have to give it to, to Cassidy, but either way, I don't think there's not, there's not a clear winner. It's cliche to say, but I think the fans are definitely the winners in this battle, so... If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out on YouTube. Um, I'll try to set the link up for you guys um, if I if I have time, because I kind of want to just do this really quick and get it out there. Um, but uh, yeah, so just let me know what you think on the comments uh, below. Like, what's your opinion? What did you like about the battle? What didn't you like about the battle? Um, would you like to see a rematch? Who would you like to see uh, battle disaster next? Who would you like to see Cassidy battle next? Um, or who uh, in the industry would you like to see battle? Uh, whether it's you know Eminem versus arsenal or whatever just something crazy like that or you can do uh another member of uh the slaughterhouse versus um i don't know fucking j cole or whatever i don't care or j cole versus 
Kendrick, whatever you guys think, it will be an awesome battle to see. Um, let me know. I'm really curious. All right, guys, thanks.